there also needs to be a mechanism to put in place that doesn't discriminate against my part of the country. We, Forge Ireland have put a huge amount of investment into marketing Ireland's hidden heartlands. Yourself and myself, Minister, have spoken at length uh, in relation to it. I know deep down in your own heart, and you know my neck of the woods very well, I know that you are in principle in favour of it. But this scheme discriminates against our region. And the reason for that, Minister, is that there's a nasty little clause that Merrion Street has included in the legislation, and that is that the property must be registered with Fodge Ireland to qualify. Now, if you're in Kerry or representing Kerry, that's great. And if you take the B&Bs in Kerry, there are 155 Fo Fodge Ireland registered B&Bs in Kerry. In County Westmeath, there are 15. In County Roscommon, there are 10. In County Offaly, there are 9. In County Longford, there are 3. In County Leash, there are 5. So where are people going to go? if they can't come to the hidden heartlands, if they can't come to the part of the country that has had its guts pulled out of it as a result of this just transition. We have Forge Ireland spending a substantial amount of money marketing our region because we don't have the huge populations. We can easily provide social distancing. We have the amenities and recreational facilities there. And thanks to uh, Minister Ryan and Minister Martin's announcement today, there will be further investment going into to greenways in our region. And that's very welcome. But we do not have the Forge Ireland accredited accommodation. Yes, we have accommodation but not Fodge Ireland accredited. Now surely if a business is registered for VAT, has its tax cleared and certificate, is providing holiday accommodation or providing uh, food, then they should be eligible. Why do they have to be registered and pay a fee to Fodge Ireland uh, in order to avail of this? And my understanding is the push is coming from Merrion Street regarding this and not at Fort Ireland. So we, Cahirac, now have a situation where I can bring my family on holidays and we can buy burger and chips and I can claim tax relief in relation to it. But if I go with an Airbnb or self-catering accommodation that is not registered with Fort Ireland, I can't claim that. Now surely the sector of the economy that we need to be supporting is the one that's dependent on tourism and particularly in our region with a fledging tourism sector that is starting to take off. Two years ago we had a big announcement regarding the Hidden Heartlands. A lot of businesses have put a huge amount of investment in upgrading their accommodation, uh, maybe converting farmhouses to accommodate uh, families, investment put into infrastructure. And if they don't have the Fodge Ireland stamp on it, they can't avail of this relief. So I would plead with you, Minister, if you are serious about balanced regional development, if you are serious about ensuring that we have tourism in the middle of Ireland, in the hidden heartlands, if we are really going to encourage and incentivise businesses to establish in that region, in the tourism sector, which is the future for the Bordnemona employees, particularly the seasonal employees, and they have in, uh, in, in Longford and Roscommon put in a very detailed application to the Just Transition Fund, which I hope will be supported uh, by uh, the government. But what's the point if we're not going to facilitate people to come and stay in our region because we don't have the rubber stamp of approval of Fodge Ireland? Please, Minister really consider this before we deal with report stage of this bill. Thank you.